Acting ambassador to Ukraine Bill Taylor testifying before three House committees Tuesday. In Taylor's opening statement, 15 pages long, he filled in the gaps of his now infamous text messages with EU ambassador Gordon Sondland. In his statement, the acting ambassador says there are two channels of policymaking, one of which he called highly irregular. He says the regular foreign policy was undercut by the president's personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani. Taylor also mentioned a specific phone call between U.S. officials and the Ukrainian president, where officials actively work to keep anyone from transcribing or monitoring the call. And we learned about one text exchange in particular, where Taylor said, we are now saying that security assistance and White House meeting are conditioned on investigations. There was a gap between that text and Sondland's response. Taylor said in his opening statement that Sondland spoke with the president during the gap, where he testified the president wanted Zelensky to state publicly Ukraine would investigate Burisma and the alleged Ukrainian interference in the 2016 election. Democratic Congresswoman Stacey Plaskett, who heard Taylor's testimony, says she found him extremely credible, but isn't sure it's the turning point some of the other Democrats are describing. Still, Plaskett says Democrats are paying attention to a timeline. The Democrats are cognizant of the time that we have, um, cognizant of not drawing this out. We're talking about a discreet uh, action by the president. And the other committees, I sit on oversight, we're doing a lot of discussion about emoluments. Um, judiciary as well as Foreign Service are doing their own, as well as the Intelligence Committee. And so we will continue to work in those areas where we have been bringing this administration um, to Stand, to really account for the actions that they're taking, but you'll see, you know, sooner rather than later, us moving forward to public hearings and then a discussion um, with the House on where to move in impeachment. Testimony scheduled for Thursday and Friday have been postponed in honor of the late Congressman Elijah Cummings. He will lie in state Thursday. Democrats have added weekend testimony Saturday for the first time.